I found the holy grail trading strategy here and you can see here is the PL curve 20,000% return. I found multiple actually and this one had 215% return. These are the PL curves here. Um this one had 377% return 377 not not three sevens, but seven seven seven. This one has sixteen six hundred fifteen percent return. So you can see the PL curves; they look pretty good. Um, so you know, kind of a beast for that. Use cloud code. Let's go ahead and go through some of the stats here real quick. See if there's anything super fire. And then if there is, I'll just show you all the code. Okay, let's go ahead here and see. Um, these are liquidation strategies. So you can see these. This right here, uh, liquidation threshold two million. Uh, profit factor 3.42 expectancy 4.1 return 98 percent okay max drawdown uh, not as bad as some of the other ones actually a lot of the other ones were like nine of, or more than this 40 percent 50 percent 60 percent anyways let me go ahead and make sure that my code is up here because at the end of the day i want to make sure that um let's see here that i track this okay so i have my cursor here let's go ahead and close this up and put my notes in here because some of these are going to be good. And what I did was I ran these yesterday with you. Actually, you were here or maybe you weren't, but uh, I'm here every single day. My name is Moondev. I believe code is a great equalizer. Um, and you can see this negative 25% drawdown. Not bad. 98% uh, return. 98% ROI and uh, verse 33%. Verse 33%. Buy and hold. And then 20, negative 25% drawdown. That's not bad, actually. It's not bad. A lot of these uh, liquidation strategies that we've been running have had much bigger drawdowns. So I want to go ahead and see how these all did. You can see this is the scaled entry V2. And then also I had a new idea that I believe she should be done with. I did this randomly yesterday. Uh, oh, actually, I didn't even do it because I put it on the wrong one, you silly guy. But this is a good idea. So let's try it. Let's try it while we go over these. So I got clogged code here, of course. Wound of trading bots. Okay. So I put it in the wrong one. I want to try a couple of um, our top ones versus buying over a couple hours. So I want to try one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, buying after triggers and eventually close after those hours. Buying after the triggers, but evenly across those hours. So it's like a time scaled time-based scale in method okay try it with a couple of our top ones and um put these but underscore time underscore time at the end of the name okay so this one you can see 98 percent return 33 percent buy and hold 1.64 percent or 64 sharp 5.33 uh, sortino okay not bad it's not bad so i got it here beautiful let's go ahead and check the next one because i got a bunch it took a while to run so this one has 114 percent return 33 percent buy and hold same data set so it should be the same buy and hold negative 27 percent drawdown okay uh sqm profit factor sqn 4.6 sqn 3.96 okay this is even better dude okay so sweet um let me go ahead and write some of these down back test i forgot that i have voice dude it's such a killer 114 percent return versus 33 percent buy and hold minus 27 drawdown expectancy 3.96 those are just some, some of the things I liked about it. Some of the things I liked. Okay, let's look at another one, dude. And she should be working. She should be back here working. Good. Good girl. You do your thug fizzle while we go ahead and take some notes on some tests we did yesterday. Because that's what we do. We iterate, iterate, iterate. Constantly iterate, iterate. Got an idea? Okay, test it, dude. Okay, this one has a 20,000% return. So this is one of those crazy PL curves. I think it's this one here. 20,000% return. 
So I would say this is probably overfit, but you tell me, dude. I don't know. 62% return here. 159% Tortino. 20,484% return, 33%. It's been over-optimized in my opinion, but that's just because it's too good to, too good to be true. Too good to be true, dude. It's too good to be true, so let's do a little rage bait on, uh, what is it, Tuesday? Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. I got him yesterday. Let's get him again today. I got him yesterday. I got him all riled up yesterday, so let's get him again today. How about that, dude? How about that? Salute the number one quant on X. All right, so that, that should get them all riled up here for this morning. Get them all thinking. But um, I would say this one's probably overfit with a um, crazy return like that. Anyways, let's keep going through here. This is the flip-flop scaled WAP. Flip-flop scaled entry V2, okay. Let's check out this one as well. This one had a 514% return. Negative 28 return, uh, negative 28 drawdown, 47 trades, win rate, 48, profit factor, 4.246. It's not bad, actually, but the thing is, is I got to test these with small size because, you know, they're all solid. 514% return versus 33% buy and hold. Five point seven 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 expectancy. Seven 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 expectancy. Five point seven seven seven. Okay. So those are far, far, far. Let me get some emojis up in this bitch. Get some emojis up in this bitch. We get some emojis. I want to make it fun, huh? I want to make it fun. I want to make it fun, dude. I want to make it fun. I want to keep having fun. Okay, let's keep having fun then. Okay, let's check another one. We got a bunch. We ran a bunch. Okay, this one's 120% return. Okay. 120% return. Buy and hold 33%. Okay. Sharp 1.25. Sortino 3.62. Expectancy 3.4. So, I mean, that expectancy is nice, dude. So all of these are looking pretty solid. The thing is, it's bad about them, in my opinion, is low trades. Or this one, at least. I, I can't speak for the other ones. 28% exposure time. 120% return. Verse 33. Three point four one expectancy. Just some of the ideas that I like so far. Let's put a, a star on it. Put a star on it. Let's keep going through these. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, uh, four hundred forty-four percent return. Okay, so four hundred forty-four percent return here. Not bad. Four hundred forty-four percent return. Negative thirty-one drawdown. Four point seven seven expectancy. Similar to the other one. It's 445 too. I'm just dyslexic slash slow. Okay, so we got a bunch of winnies. This one's 93% return. I'm going to skip it because it's a 37% drawdown. Okay, this one's a funny one, actually. This one would get them real riled up. I should have used this one as my... Well, this I'm going to use this one next. I'm going to use this one next. Get them real riled up here on a Tuesday. I'll uh, I'll schedule this for later. So this one has a pretty good return percentage, but the funny part about it is there's a 91% drawdown. So it's an awful strategy. Um,
awful strategy, but you know, if you are new, it's like, oh, well, it has a 20, 276% return. That's way better than buy and hold. I don't know how y'all do this hand trading stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna think of a better caption, but I just, I just love it's my new favorite thing, dude. Rage baiting quants because quants are such dickheads. They're such dickheads, bro. They think they're so fucking smart and they want to be so loud about it. So I just like the rage bait them. That's my new favorite thing, bro. You gotta have fun with finance, dude. You got to have one. <laughs> okay, you got a 406% return on it. But again, this drawdown is like mm, pretty high. So I'm just going to skip that one. So you can see that we have these 52% drawdowns. So you can see these earlier versions were having higher drawdowns. 49%. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is now I want to go ahead and test those couple other ones. Um, let's find the best one here and give you the code. So you can feel like you got some value out of this other than me just just being super cute and you looking at me or imagining what I look like. And yeah, so let's give you this uh, revisit momentum volume confirm V2. Um, it has 514% return versus a 33% buy and hold and expectancy is 57.777. So I want to make sure that you get this code here at the minimum. And let's just go ahead and scroll through this. I'll I'll give you the um, <clears throat> I'll give you the capabilities of rewinding this video, so you can just go ahead and rewind it. I will scroll through the code, volume confirm v two. And if you're in the boot camp, if you're in the lifetime specifically, if you're in Quant Elite, you have access to this GitHub. So I'll upload it to GitHub as well, but I've got a couple more that I wanna do. Revisit momentum volume confirm V2. Okay, let's go ahead and check that out, dude. Revisit momentum, okay. Revisit momentum, yes. Volume confirm, revisit momentum, volume confirm. This is probably this one, V2. Okay, so let's give you all of this code, dude. Let's also make sure while I say that, let me go ahead and get it to the GitHub get add dot and then get commit get add dot get add dot get add dot get add dot come on okay i'm gonna start scrolling through the code by the way import pandas here from backtesting.py okay bringing the five minute data okay loading pre-processed data okay let's make this a little bit bigger you're gonna have to rewind fam you want all this code, you can have it. I want to make sure that you have it. You can be it all, dude. You can do anything that I can do, but you can do it better. Revisit momentum. So this strategy is revisiting the volume confirmation, detect liquidation, record the low, and then it waits for a price to drop below that low. Confirm with the RSI oversold or MACD bullish. Interesting. So it's using liquidation data. Okay, get add dot, get commit slash M, new liquidation back test, get push. Conflicted MacBook Air, what the hell? -y? Push it. Push it, push it, baby, push it. Okay, okay, you can see the rest of the code here. Volume parameters here, position sizings, 95% of the accounts, not 100%. Okay, you can see MACD calci. Okay, MACD signal. Okay, next statement. This is where we run this, this actual strategy on each bar. Okay, in position, check if we're in position, check if it's a confirmation. Okay, not in position, check for entry. Okay. Price at the targets. You're going to have to pause and rewind, then run the back test. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so you got everything, dude. Almost. Yes, almost. Use a bunch of print statements. Almost. Here's the optimization. 
Okay, you can see everything I can do, then you can do anything I can do, but you can do it better if you really want to. But if you don't, that's cool. People spend their time hating on me. It's like, spend your time stepping on the gas, B. Let's get it. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead here and now move on to these next back tests that we just created here. Okay, so there are three of them. You can see here, done, created three time-based scaling. And I'm interested about this time-based scaling because I do have a thesis that, you know, after a big liquidation, something like they didn't want to get out of that position, right? So you can take over their position, but not too quick. 149% unoptimized, max drawdown 71% though. So it looks great at first and it's good. If you're new here, you know, you're going to see 149% versus buy and hold, but then you're going to be like, damn, that looks good. But you might not, this might be overwhelming, right? That's a lot of data. It's okay. You're a data dog. I'm a data dog too. And um, after you look at the data long enough, you'll start to understand what to look at. And drawdown is a scary one for me. I don't like to be in drawdowns. I don't like that big a drawdown. That's why at the start of this, we were looking at ones that had much lower drawdown. And I was like, damn, these are looking much nicer. So that's cool. You can see this return is 77%. Okay. The drawdown, max drawdown, negative 25. So that's like a question of how big are your balls, right? Hey, you know, do you want to sit through a 25% drawdown and only have a 77% return? Or can you sit through a 71%? I don't think you can, but it, can you sit down to set through a 71% drawdown and get 149% return? So I can't tell you the size of your nuts. I can only put mine on the table and let you sniff them. That's all. I can't do anything else, dude. I can't do anything else. Okay, so let's check out this third one. And then I don't know if we're going to have time to let this optimize because it takes a while. So if you want to see the optimization, then maybe you can just come back tomorrow and I'll do the same thing. You can see here, this one only had a return of 58%. So I personally like this one the best, even though... The 77% return is not as high as the 149% return. The reason being is this 149% return has the negative 77% or 71% drawdown, while this 77% return only has a 25% drawdown. Exposure time, 38%. What's the exposure time over here? And then 83% as well. That's why the drawdown is so damn big. Okay, so now you've seen everything I got for you, and I gave you the code, and I gave you, I gave you the code to the best back test that we had. And that was uh, a return of 514%. Actually, there was that overfit one as well. But I don't know what else you want from me. Much love, though. I don't see any other person on the internet sharing as much as me. So I really, really do hope that you step on the gas with this information that I do show. Much love to you.